Hello and welcome back to another El Dabstroyero vs. The Movies, the show where I elbow drop some righteous riffs on some foul and forgotten flicks. This time, I'm going toe-to-toe with Always Kickin', a dusty 1930s football film starring old-school multi-sport athlete Jim Thorpe. So, will I end up in the end zone or will I get punted by this pick? Find out now on El Dabstroyero vs. Always Kickin'. Yeah, Jerry of the Journal's all right, but he's definitely no Nicky of the Notebook. Oh great, the ghost of Eisenhower's back again. Mr. Gleason, my eyes are up here. And that's the way they all became the Brady Bunch. Partially scribbled on a napkin by Charles W. Paddock. Starring a bunch of nobodies and Jim Thorpe. All right, I've got a plan. I'm gonna rub the lamp and wish for a better movie. Oh, oh, oh. I wish somebody'd tackle me like that. Well, certainly busy. But I hope coach gets a kicker. So Jerry, Journal went down the phone. Journal is his wife. I wonder what he wants. Probably wants to fire you. Well, you would think of something like that, wouldn't you? Probably because you open day drink in the office. Where in the world do you suppose he is? What do you suppose is keeping Wild guess? Maybe he's avoiding you. Do you think Miner's been hurt? Oh, Mrs. Smith. Do you? Do you think Miner's been hurt? Oh, I hope, uh, uh, probably. <sighs> Hello. Goodbye. Well, it's just about time. Well, I came just as fast as I could. What do you want? TMI. Does Jeff Farmer want to talk to me? No, I do. How much longer are you going to be? Where's Miner? Has he been hurt? No, Miner's not hurt. He's okay. We'll be along a little while. The boys are just practicing. Kissing. Will you quit bothering me? I'm off to go suck on more lemons. Jerry. Jerry Major. Jerry. He deliberately hung up on you. Well, yeah, you're kind of a nag. Something tells me that Miner's been hurt. Oh, Mrs. Smith, how could he be hurt in practice? He couldn't, could he, Mr. Farmer? Certainly not. <laughs> oh, great, he didn't cover his mouth. Now they all have coronavirus. I know he's been hurt. Aw, just like that lady in the tramp scene, except not sweet nor memorable. Certainly, Mr. Fox. Thank you. Hello. Yes, I'm wearing a woman's face as a hat. Why do you ask? Helping the coach to find the kicker for the big game against Stratford. Jerry Major Smith interviewed Thorpe this morning. He's out at the practice field now. Quick, pretend someone's talking. Oh, no, I haven't the interview yet. His cough sounds like a car starting. I don't think that's good. just brought it in. Jim Thorpe. Played with the Carlisle Indians and beat Harvard single-handed. When? Oh, uh, I, oh I don't know. Rum, 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 rum. Look it up. It was November 11, 1911. It was three goals. One from the 30-yard line, one from the 40-yard line, and one from the 48-yard line. And the score was 18 to 15 in favor of Carlisle. Got a woman with an opinion. Quick, cut right. away. If the laces are not up. On receiving the ball from the center, don't take too much time. Adjust the ball on a step forward and kick. Uh, pass the ball to you, Miss Sonny. What do you want? Oh, God, my knees! The pain is excruciating! Oh, man, I would have given anything to see him kick it straight into that Boy, other guy. That a pip. Boy, it's a dub, isn't it? Well, that's your one of them, ain't it? Uh huh. Can you imagine being a kicker like that? Uh, you're quite a kicker yourself, Jerry. Well. <laughs> Arrgh, my groin! I'll show you how I can kick. And that's how the San Andreas <laughs> Fault was formed. <laughs> on, what a 
back me up, will you? <laughs> Come on, get up. Oh, baby, want up? Baby, I'm want up? I can't catch up, brother, but I'll sure keep you company. <sighs> Say, listen, you. Wait till your sports editor sees my story about Thorpe. It's in the journal now. I saw Thorpe at the hotel. Yeah. I met him at the train. So I guess that makes them like Eskimo bros or something? Once again, Jim. Okay. Everybody watch this closely. Now hold it a minute, Jim, will you? I want my nephew to see you. Hey, Jerry Miner! Go! Hey, go! Jerry! Jerry Miner! Go! Oh, my Abercrombie senses are tingling. There must be a sale on tight fleece pullovers. Hey, what happened there? Who, who left that machine? Jerry, I want you to get over there and watch closely now when Jim kicks. Okay, Major. Hey, don't mind me. I'm just going to interrupt practice for a little bit of nepotism. All right, Jim. Now remember, boys, the art of drop kicking is, is to always keep your eye on the ball and never look up until the ball is in flight. Never blink. Right, never look away. Me. Give yourself to the void of the egg ball. Now that's what I call a tight end. Great, there goes our only ball. Yeah, that's marvelous, Jim. The same whole form of ten years ago, huh? Say, Jerry, I want you to meet Jim Thorpe. My nephew, Jerry Miner, Hello, Jim. Jerry. Hello, Mr. Say, you know what I wish you'd do for me? I wish you'd give the kid here a few pointers on how to kick. Sure. All right, step one, That'll suck be... less. I'm sorry, Jerry, but I gotta run my squad my own way. Well, that's okay, Bill, but listen. Now, you lost the last three games with one point, didn't you? Because you didn't have a kicker. Now, I'm gonna tell you how to get that one point. Jim here can give Jerry Miner a few pointers, and your troubles are over. If you've been taking a shot every time they say Jerry Miner, you've already died of alcohol poisoning. Well, that's okay, Bill. And that's not all you're going to get. Say, when your sister finds out that you've been encouraging... you hush. <laughs> but is Jerry Miner injured yet? Yes. Hello, hello. Yes. All right, uh, just a moment. Uh, Joe, uh, get on your phone and take a story. Yes, Mrs. Crutcher, yes. Brown was stretched with football players, but hurt in practice. He won't be out in time for the big game against Southern. Put it in the box on page one. God, you can tell it's a slow news day. Uh, Mrs. Crutcher, uh, uh, something's happened. I'll call you later. I... Did you say somebody been hurt? Yeah. I'll say this. That's she chases injuries like she's a lawyer. I'm not going to allow Miner to even practice for those balls. <clears throat> no, I wouldn't. Alright, Jack, come on, boy, in there. Charge hard in there. Leave that mannequin is dummy thick. Come on now, boy, let's see it. Charge hard. That's no way to hit it. That's fine work this one. Come on. Hit him hard in there this time. Roll with that old dummy this time. Come on, boy. Oh boy, this guy has the aim of a stormtrooper. Of all the dumb tricks. Take off that bonnet. Turn in your suit. Oh, look, Coach. Jeez, I'm sorry. Give me another chance, will you? Hey, you've had more chances than any man on this squad. Now get out of here. Scram. Oh, I don't want you around here at all. Get out. Come on, gang. Let's go to work in there. And that was the last time Cross-Eyed Joey ever played football. I'm taking my ball and going home. Well, what are you going to do about your All-American? I have no All-American anymore. Well, I just not cut out to be a football player. You sure kept your promise to your sister. What promise? That Jerry Miner would never play football. You're certainly a man of your word. Oh, oh Miner, did you dookie on your shirt again? What's the matter, Ken? Dad's going to ground me. Oh, i got to turn in my suit. I'm through. Is there anything I can do? No. Thanks, Mr. Thorpe. I'm sorry. Excuse me while I cop this quick feel and leave. He's reflecting on how badly he screwed it up, even with white privilege. Kick one the way Jim showed you. Well, of course he missed. His right leg is a foot shorter than his left. What did you think was going to happen? Keep your darn ball out of my yard, you brats! Coach, look at that cloud looks like a butt. Who kicked that ball? What a kick. Find the man that kicked that ball and bring him here. Come on, boys. We're going to break his kneecaps. Nobody likes me. I'm going to burn down their fence. That'll teach them. Hey. Oh, God, it's the football police. Did you kick that ball? Yeah. Boy, well, we got one. He needs a virgin on, to sacrifice to the football shoot. gods. Hey, we caught this guy leering at our fence. Look! I'm walking on sunshine! Didn't I tell you? I knew he could do it. 
I don't believe it. Well, you saw the bottle, didn't you? What more do you want? I still don't believe it. No, you wouldn't. Well, coach, you've got that extra point. You've got a kicker now. And they all lived happily ever after. Two state players were sent to the hospital after today's practice. Put it on page one. Okay. Extra, extra! Boy injured playing football! If we stay here long enough, every football player will go to the hospital. Dream big, Mrs. Miner. More people are killed in bathtubs than in football. Well, I'll take mine in the bathtub. Definitely didn't need that mental image. Did she just fart? I heard it too. Southern California Notre Dame score last year. 1614, favorite Southern California. Ugh, I thought I locked that door. Well, here he is, here he is, look at him. Today it's Lee Harvey Oswald. Oswald. Southern College's ace kicker, Jerry Minor Smith. Look at him. He has the charisma of a young piece of toast. Jeff, what do you think? Yeah. I go out to watch Stork work, and here I find the answer to a coach's prayer. And... Ah! Oh, jeez, I thought the ghost of death was creeping up on me. The what? You lied. You told me Miner wasn't going to play football. He didn't play football. He only kicked the ball. And, and everyone knows kickers kick aren't real football kick players. What? Miner actually on the team? That's what well. the coach says. Ah. Oh, Miner, did they really pick you? Are they really that oh. dumb? Guess so. Oh, oh shucks. Oh, boy, get a photographer. Okay, I understand this, Major. You have deceived me. You've got to kiss the girl. I did not. I had nothing to do with it. Do you know what's happened? Do you know what's about to happen? I'm you gonna have a massive heart attack. To become an all-American. Why he is an American? He was born here. Huh? What a weird little love triangle. Okay, Chief. What do you want? Photograph Jerry Miner Smith. I'm having it ready for the sports page tomorrow. Okay, sit over there, kid. All right, and then get naked. I'm thinking we go with a football theme. Something real classy. How long can you hold a ball between your thighs, boy? Yeah, real tasteful like Spread those cheeks. If anybody's going to have their picture taken with Jerry Miner, I am. Well, I discovered him. Are you his mother? Are you his uncle? I'm his mother. Well, I'm his uncle. And I don't care. Will somebody please tell me who I'm photographing? It better not be Roseanne again. No, 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 this is all wrong. You're far too ugly. Well, we've all seen enough porn to know where this is going. Come on, this time it has to be over, right? The crowd begins screaming in agony as they close down the beer stands. With the score nothing to nothing in the last quarter and only five minutes left to play, it seems likely that the big game between Southern College and Stratford will end in a tie. Stratford has the ball on Southern's 25 yard Rock the shaz ball. Rock the shaz ball. And a riot breaks out in the stands. into a huddle now. What's a huddle? A huddle. Oh, you tell her, Ginger. I know, I know. It's like the dugout in baseball. Isn't it? Yeah. So, any of you guys know how to play this game? My hand is wide. Can we crash to him now? Sure. Okay, at 33. Stratford's out of the huddle. They're in line. The ball is snapped. Stratford back has it. Put it's in minor. He's away. Five, ten, six. It's a touchdown. The S stands for this movie sucks. We're as good as a hundred. If they kick goal, we're sunk. They're lined up. The ball is kicked. And it goes over. They make the extra point. I took a break from the Great Depression for this? Well, for goodness sake, they're starting all over again. Same way I feel watching this movie. Well, that's the third time they've done that. Those four may as well be watching The Muppet Show for all the constant complaining they're doing. All in favor of pushing the old woman over the side, say aye. Southern kicks off deep in the Stratford territory. What marvelous interference those boys in black have. Tag, you're it. Tee hee, tee hee. And look, he makes the tackle on the Stratford player. Oh, you big brute. 
he hit that poor man when he was carrying the ball and couldn't defend himself. Three minutes left to play. Shatler's ball on the 30 yard line. First down and 10 to go. Another football jargon. Here you go. And here come the pretzels. Oh a touchdown. That may tie the score. No, the referee is blowing his whistle. Oh, goody, it's a put down. Oh, will you sit? He didn't score. His body other than his hands or feet touched the ground. And when that happens under the new rule, the ball is dead. Just he like I am inside. Now. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, that's tough. A touchdown right within their grasp and a good chance to tie this a score, but the new rule kills it. Pretty sure I need some social distancing from this movie. Every minute counts. There goes the fullback. It's a lateral pass. He's away. He's out there. No, he's thrown out of bounds. Hey, not so rough. Boy, oh boy, this game isn't over yet. Unfortunately. We're out of the huddle. They're lined up. All the players suddenly appear to be in slow motion. I've never seen anything quite like this. The quarterback has it. It looks like a reverse. No, it's a fake reverse, and boy, that line opened up a hole that a wagon could drive through. And look, now they're going! Look up! Hooray! And I sometimes forget how the 1930s had those weird fast-forward and slow-motion we'll time fluctuations. Point. What if I better put Jerry Smith in the kick? Ah, you'll never make it, coach. So the now has a chance to tie the score. Will they get Oh, it's wide. Oh, Peg Leg Pete missed another kick. You might as well get your flash extra out now. Southern College, those kickless wonders fail to convert. Yeah, it's the same old story. Too bad. Too bad. Yeah. Two minutes left to play. If that dumbbell would have put Jerry Miner in there to kick, the score would be tied now. I wish they put Miner in. God, you can tell these four would be friends with Epstein. They're all looking for a Miner. An onside. It's an onside kick, and it's good. Adam Southern has it, and they tackle him hard. Looks like he's hurt. There's only one minute more to play. Football and traumatic brain injuries. Name a more iconic duo. A drop kick's our only chance. How about putting or we could try an elbow drop. The only thing to do. Oh, coach, put Jerry Miner in. Don't you do it. Oh, yeah, she's got money on them losing by one. Smith, come here. Where will you be when incontinence strikes? Where are you going? I'm going down to get my boy. I'm not going to let them hurt him. Will you calm yourself and sit down? And shut up. It's just time for a drop kick. Make one like you did the other day, boy. Oh my god, that youngster has a tattoo! Take him off the field, boys. Bring out your dad! Ah! It's an air raid! Take cover! Adam's off the field. He's a great player, and they're giving him a great hand. Uh, can't be all that great if he got hurt. Will you sit down, sis? So, we can go home soon, right? Why is Miner standing way over there by himself? Don't the it's called body him? odor. I know you see an incoming player can't talk to his teammates until after the first play is over. That's Otherwise, he gets cooties. From the coach. Oh. Hey, look, there's an ant down there filming us. Let's fool him. Pull a face to Miner. This was back before belts were invented. Going to be a pass. A long one to Smith. And he misses it. Miner, you butterfingers. Poor Miner. Well, he did his best. Only 30 seconds left to play. Coach hey, you guys want to trade him. headlights? From back here? Sure. From back Close. here? That's a bunch of malarkey. Well, come on, let's try it. The timekeeper's ready to end That's the game. Cut. Yeah, yeah, play. They took penalties way more seriously back then. Jump around! Jump around! Jump! Jump! Jump around! He's just washing off his flop sweat. Miner made the kick. I told him so. Yeah, Miner made the kick. Yes, Miner made the kick. Of course, Miner made the kick. Yes, mommy. Wow, we my first gangbang. I don't know if it was educational, but it sure was painful.
there it is. Another El Dabstroy Arrow versus the movies in the books. Always kicking gets the boot. Please like, follow, subscribe, and support on Patreon for more content. And until next time, please remember, put in Miner! Have a good one and wash those hands. Ah, my groin! <laughs>